everyone, this is Prem from the Franklin High School Robotics team, and today I'm going to show you how to program the VEX V5 controller to drive your robot. So first we're going to open the competition template, so we're going to go to File, Open Examples, until we find the, co the competition template, and you can name it whatever you want. So. Okay, so firstly we need to configure our devices. So we can click the symbol up here and add our devices. So firstly we need the controller to drive the robot. Secondly, we need to program the four motors on our drivetrain. So this is going to be a four-wheel drive drivetrain. So previously in Robot C, what we would do is we would take each motor and assign each motor to the controller axis and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today um, even though VEX V5 does allow you to have um, like preset drivetrains I recommend that you still go ahead and program each motor individually for competitions as it allows you to have more flexibility with programming so uh, four wheel a uh, four motor drivetrain so we're going to have four ports in total, so the first one is going to be the left front, and then we need the left back, and then we need the, we need the right sides, sorry not controller, we're going to need a motor, so right front. and then right back and if you do find one of your motors is in fact reversed you can always come into the settings and hit the reverse button and that will reverse the rotation of the motor okay so now we have all of our four motors set up so now it's time to assign these motors to the controller so we're going to go and find this infinite loop right here the while one, which is the same as while true, it's the same. So we can delete this. Okay, so we're going to actually make the motors turn by using the spin command. So our first motor is left front, so we're going to do left front and then use the spin command dot spin. And we want it to spin forward, so we're going to do vex colon colon direction type and then forward so if you go ahead and click uh, click this it's going to give you an error and that's because you have to abbreviate forward to FWD so that'll make sure that it goes forward and we're going to do comma and now we have to actually assign the motor to the controller so we're going to do control controller one so that's the name of our controller and if we look at the controller the left side is controlled by axis 3 so let's go back and do controller 1 dot axis 3 dot position and finally we want to output this as a percent so we're going to do vex velocity units and then PCT which is short for percent close and we always end with the semicolon and now we can copy this for all of our four motors and this is going to be it's going to be the right back I mean sorry left back right front and then right back. Good. So now if we look back, the right side is actually controlled by channel or axis number two. So we're going to have to change the three to two, which is axis two. And just like that, we have completed the program. So if we do go back to robot C, you can see that it was it was a lot more condensed. We just stated the motor and we set it equal to the channel, channel three and two, 
or whatever channel uh, that you needed to. But in this case, we have to do a little bit more extra. We have to define what direction it drives, and then we do the same. We say what axis we want the motor to be on, and then we need to say how it's outputted. So in this case, we're doing percents. So thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to be going over if-else statements for buttons on the controller. And that's it. Thanks for watching.